The Scourge Evasion event in the pre-patch isn't just going to be a rehash of a Naxxramas Scourge Invasion event, it's been massively revamped and has a lot of cool new features. Today we're going to be talking about how to fully take advantage of the Pru patch to its maximum potential. Since it's actually a really good event for people who want to gear up their booster characters, or for people who need gear for leveling on Raffalich King fresh servers. By the way guys, there's actually a secret video on my channel right now. If you subscribe and go to my channel page, on there there's a secret technique to get a truckload of XP before Raffle H King launch, so be sure to check it out. And also there's loads of other things in the description, like weapon progression guides and gearing guides for beasted characters. And that's a good segue into the video to be honest, because let's be honest, the main thing we care about when it comes to events like this is what gear can we get? You can easily get some really good epic gear during these events. Like for instance the anti-undead armor sets. There's a set for cloth, leather, mail and plate, just like there was in the Nax Drama Scourge event. They all have really good primary stats, they're all epic items, and they all have haste rating. And then when you get more pieces, you gradually get an increased boost to your damage against undead. Now this is a really solid option for a boosted paladin since you'll get a total of 7% increased damage to undead targets with your talents and your glyphs and with this set equipped. And guess what, the majority of mobs in Northrend are in fact undead. But you're probably wondering how on earth do you actually get this gear? Well it's actually really really simple. Similar to the Nax Scourge event, necrotic shards are going to spawn around the world map and you'll see these on your world map when you just press M. In the sky there's going to be these floating citadels that look similar to Nax Ramas, they're going to be floating around, and this means that particular zone is under attack, and you can go into that zone, kill the enemies there, the undead enemies, because they're going to spawn from these shards, and occasionally rare mobs will spawn from these shards, and also Shadows of Doom, and both of these mobs are where you get this gear from, because it has a chance to drop from these mobs. The Shadows of Doom have a guaranteed chance to actually spawn, because they will eventually come and try and repair the Necrotic Rune. However, rares, well, obviously they are rares, but these two mobs will get you either the chest or the leg pieces. And then the gloves and shoulders are easier to get, they can very simply be bought for Necrotic Runes, which is a currency unique to this event. They drop from all the undead mobs that you kill during this event, during invasions, and are also rewarded from certain quests. You can easily buy them from the Argent Quartermaster, however you need to unlock the Argent Quartermaster by completing the quest Under the Shadows. This simply requires you to get 10 Necrotic Runes and then go and turn them in. The quest is given by Commander Thomas Helleran in Light's Hope Chapel. He will only spawn during the event, and looking at my research it looks like he's only going to spawn during a 4 phase of a Scourge Invasion event. We'll talk more about the phases later on in the video. And the Scarlet Quartermaster herself is near the Forge in Light's Hope Chapel. So basically after running around, farming Scourge Invasions, it doesn't look like the gear is BOE, like they were in the next Scourge Invasion event, so you're going to have to farm these and loot them yourself. Now there's also a really good two-handed weapon that you can get in the pre-patch event that's equal to like SSC two-handed weapon. So if you're boosting a Paladin, a Warrior, or you're leveling up a Death Knight for Raffle Lich King, it's a really good option to get. It's also a really good option for Hunter because it's a really good stat stick with a lot of attack power on it. Has the same model as the Arcanite Reaper with a green glow, except obviously it is called the Arcanite Ripper, not the Arcanite Reaper. And when you collect the weapon, you turn into an undead dude using the weapon as a guitar and bursting out a face melter. It has 114 DPS, 3.8 second speed, 24 crit, 112 attack power. Not a bad option for leveling in Wrath of the Lich King. This drops from a little mini boss in Karazhan, basically go to a Tuman, the Horseman, and then rather than going back out of there and up the stairs to the hall and go to Moreau's, you go up the stairs after Horseman and he's up there somewhere. Now unfortunately, when you do kill the boss, it will save you to Karazhan, so you can only do this once a week. But according to Wowhead comments, the weapon and the pet that also drops from it has a guaranteed chance to drop every time you kill the boss. You also get two cheeky badges of justice. The Scourge Invasion event instance bosses are also back, on the most part providing some decent spell power, loot for leveling, so if you're playing a fresh server you'll be able to go and get these extra mini bosses, like for instance Balathon from Strathome, 22 spell power necklace, quite nice. Although I think that's probably pronounced Balzathon, I, I have no idea, I, I don't speak Scourge. Anyway, there's also Lord Blackwood in Scholomance. Revanchion or Revanchion in Dymore West, Scorn in Scarlet Monastery Graveyard, 
Sever in SFK, and Lady Falhers, or whenever, in Razorfen Downs. Now, one of the most fun elements of a Scourge Invasion event is becoming a zombie. I'm looking forward to this the most, to be honest, because this time round you actually get to turn into a zombie and go around infecting other NPCs and players and taking over the server. There are conspicuous crates you can click or plagued roaches you can kill that will infect you with a disease debuff. This can be removed by a remove disease spell, but if you let it run its course or you die with a debuff active, you will turn into a zombie. Crates and roaches are commonly found in capital cities. They start off in Booty Bay and then in phase two they start moving to the capital cities. As a zombie, you are hostile to all other players of both factions, but friendly to other zombies. Your stats don't affect how powerful you are, so you can run around naked as a zombie and you'd be totally fine. You have a basic melee attack called Mangle. You have Wretch, which is an AoE ground effect on the ground that heals yourself and all other zombies, you know, close to you, so it's good to stay as a group. It'll also infect other players who run into that little effect. And that will infect them with the zombie debuff, so again, if they wait a minute, then they're also going to get turned into a zombie. Beckoning Groan allows you to bring four NPC zombies to your location, so you can like stack up all the zombies together, build a big horde of zombies. Lurch gives you a burst of speed, and also removes all CC and snares. And then you've got a zombie explosion, which is going to blow up your character, funny enough, and then it'll infect everyone around you. Killing NPCs and players also instantly turns them into a zombie. As a zombie, you do actually lose HP every second, so you have to be mindful to remember to heal yourself with that ability called Wretch, and group up other players so you can stack wretches together. And the idea is to basically troll the server by creating a zombie horde and going to harass and irritate the everyone in capital cities. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds extremely fun. I can see guilds making raids to intentionally get infected and try to take over capital cities like Horde cities or even our own cities. It's going to be absolute chaos. This is a proper MMO event and it's a shame that we only get to experience it very temporarily in the pre-patch. We should really bring back this event now and again during Ravalach King's lifetime. Now there's actually eight total phases to this zombie invasion event. First of all, crates turn up in Booty Bay, then they start turning up in capital cities, then more roaches and crates turn up in capital cities, so those are the things that can potentially infect people. Then, in phase four, the zombie debuff now lingers for two minutes, I think it starts off at three minutes, and then the floating citadels will start appearing. In phase five, the zombie infection lasts just one minute, and then argent healers who can remove the infection from you, they're by large part totally gone, so it becomes harder to get rid of that debuff. A desperate research quest becomes available in phase six to find a cure for the plague, in phase 7, rather than unfortunately the fun is over, the plague gets cured and there's no more zombies. However, there's a little bit of a last event in Stormwind Harbor or the Ring of Valor, where apparently these big elite frost worms turn up and you've got to help your faction's capital city leaders to fight them off. Now, for the last minute quickfire round of cosmetic and other stuff that you can get. First of all, the tab out of the Argent Dawn. Definitely recommend getting this because once the event is over, that's it, you can no longer get this tab out. Got the Argent Warhorn, this summons an Argent Knight to fight for you, but for some reason it's only level 60, according to Wowhead anyway, so that's kind of lame. Anyway, you've got the Argent Tome, this is a trinket that kind of functions a bit like a Holy Water, but basically an infinite Holy Water has a Holy Nova kind of effect, and it's not that great, and it does like 300 to 400 damage, so yeah, kind of lame again. But apparently you can use it to kill low level players because it doesn't alert guards when you use it. You also get healing and mana potions, which is totally pointless to be honest, but you also get specific wizard oils and sharpening stones, even though you can't use them on weapons with a higher level than 165. So, I mean, it might be useful for leveling in Raffle Lich King if you've got like a really good weapon from somewhere to level with, but yeah, the use of these items will be redundant for endgame Raffle of Lich King, unfortunately. But anyway guys, that is a detailed overview of a pre-patch event, how to get the most out of it in Raffle Lich King Classic. My name is Medigoblins, in my next video, ciao.